so good afternoon my youtube family and friends it's me miss beth thanking you for supporting me on this channel miss beth's production a little bit of cooking a little bit of math a lot of encouragement and motivation today is my first monday off from work we're on summer break and usually I get up and I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm not motivated to do a lot. I mean, once I started losing the weight, you'll know I started at 300 plus. Then I went down to 300. Now I'm in the 280s. Um, but as I said, I want to lose it one pound at a time. And today I got up. And I got so much done. Yesterday I got up and I got a lot done, but in between my back was hurting a lot. But I still got a lot done. Today I got much more done. I kept moving a little bit at a time. Not a little bit, because I'm moving. <laughs> I am moving. One person came to visit and when they saw me, they were shocked like, I didn't know you could walk. Yes, I could walk. And she said, are you walking so fast? Yes, I can walk. I move. I, I'm not crippled sitting down because I'm overweight. I do move. I do get things done. It's just that once I was complacent with the weight, I was more tired. It was harder to get more done. And so as I continue at work, I walk a lot. The hallways are long. I walked. And now that I'm home... I decided that in the mornings, just like as if I was going to work, to get out of the bed, get your shower, and start the day. Get up, make breakfast, and find things to do. And I find right now I'm sweating because I got the garbage out, I cleaned the windowsills in the dining area, I cleaned off the back porch, swept it off. We have bottles. I don't know who's going to come get them, but we usually save them if somebody wants them. I got a nice pot for them, um, cleaned off the back porch, um, did some work in the kitchen, move around some things in the kitchen, mop, just cleaned up, just really just got things done. The, the living room area, there were some things there, some boxes that came in with some some material for the, my, my new project and got them out the boxes broke up the boxes, got them outside, and I've been just going, and there are many hours still left in the day. But I want, I stopped for a minute to just talk to us. Um, because, you know, as I, I, I was talking to one of my daughters, and one of the things that came up, I told her, said, if, if I'm now 61, and if something should happen to me, do not fight for them to sustain me, to... If, I, if it's time for me to go, let me just go. Because one of the things that I, I didn't want to happen is to be selfish and wanting to be here for a long time, even though I might not, if something happens and I, I, be, I have to be dependent, I don't want to have all this weight for them to be lifting and for to give me a bath or anything. I have all this weight for them to deal with. So I cannot be selfish. I have to be realistic and know that unless I start more moving some of this pound off, if something should happen, it's going to be a lot of weight to move around. As an obese person, we know that a lot of abuse come when it's not intentional, but just think of me falling in the house and we call paramedics. My God, you know how many pounds these poor people would have to come to lift to get me to the hospital? Sometimes we don't think of these things, but I had to think because I know it cannot be easy. Years ago, I was doing home health care, and then I said I wanted to stay in the health field. I wanted to become a nurse, and so I took the course for a nurse's aid, which would allow me to work in a nursing home or in a hospital setting. And when we went to do the practical in the nursing home, I just stood there looking because 
I saw at that time I was maybe 160 pounds, once maybe 165. I wasn't a big person then. And I'm looking and I said, there were big people in there. And I'm watching these young people, these, you know, workers trying to get them up in the morning. Three people had to come and help. Thank God they had the higher lift that could lift the, the very obese people to put them on the toilet and then to wash them right there and then to get them all dried. It, it was a lot. It was a lot. And I know that people are happier and they have a better countenance or they, they feel better inside to come and support. If you're, if you're not able to do for yourself, they'll be happier to support if they're able to, 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 to manage the weight that they have to deal with. Then you think again of if a fire happens, the fireman comes, oh my God, if I cannot move, if I cannot get out, and they have to, did you imagine to pick up 280 something pounds to lug it outside? And depends on where I, I might get stuck if there's a fire. Can you imagine how what it would take? I would be putting that firefighter's life in jeopardy also. And sometimes you wonder if when you hear that people who have this massive amount of meat on their bones and you hear even during COVID that so many died, people who were affected mostly from COVID were the obese. Was it because when they got there, they preferred to save somebody who was younger and lighter and skinnier? I'm not judging, but I, I, just, I just started thinking that it is hard. And so we must get up and move. We must get up and move, get into gear, get some of the meat off the bones. Don't just sit down. Love yourself enough to get up and move. Love yourself enough to know that if something happens to you, your family is going to have a hard time to lift you, to position you, to bathe you, to, to help you to live any kind of good life. Then you talk about going to the hospital. And you're laying there, you can't help yourself. You can't even lift up your arms so they could wash your armpits. You can't do anything. When you have the weight and you're not moving and you're not exercising it so that it stretches out, you know, when you just sit there and, oh, woe is me, and we're not changing our diets, we have to start changing things. Cut out some of the meat, you know, eat more vegetables. People will laugh and when I cook my vegetables, they laugh and talk about, oh, it's so white, um, this and that, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as I'm changing the way I've been eating and, and cutting back on some things and I'm trying to move more, get more done. Get more done. I have to give God thanks because I have been moving and I know sometimes I get on the video and my clothes look so, <laughs> so horrible. But in my heart, I'm happy because I know I am not filling out these clothes anymore. I am losing some weight. So my people, I just stop for a minute to just say to us, remember, a lot of abuse that happens is not because people don't like us. It's because of the amount of weight and the inconveniences that we put to, on the table. Um, I want us to just remember to get up and move. One step at a time, one pound at a time. If we start looking at what we eat, we realize that when we eat, dairy products it builds the mucus in our body so we we are running nose more we are coughing more we are we are going through so much i was experiencing some of those things until i found out i start realizing that when i eat this or eat that when i drink my oh my oh my cornflakes with the even though this is lactose and lactate is good and it still have lactose in it and so i would warm it and drink my eat my cereal but then the coughing starts. And in the night, you can know the difference with the mucus that is building. And so because of that, you have the runny nose. A few years ago, years ago, 
years ago, I wouldn't say a few years ago, once I found out the things that were affecting me, I and I cut them out, I have done better. But there were years gone by, I couldn't hold a conversation without coughing my life out. I couldn't hold a conversation without my nostrils getting wet and I have to be holding my head down or walking with tissues in my sleeves or in my bosom because the mucus was so overwhelming. But once I cut down on the dairy, cut them out. I eat ice cream once in a blue moon. I don't let those things, you know, cloud my mind and they become, oh, I miss, no, I cut them out. And once in a while, if I eat a little, I put some rum in, in it and I would enjoy it. But I try to do without some of those things that create the problems that prevents me from 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 excelling. So I know I decided, I know I didn't make up my face, no lipstick. It's it's just me natural because I'm working. <laughs> I'm working and I'm sweating and I'm happy. I'm very happy because I'm able to do it. I'm able to get up and from morning I turn off the TV. I was watching, I was on YouTube watching Jamaica Life Nice and then I said these are the things that are preventing you from getting the weight under control. Can you sit here for hours watching these things and then you're not getting up to move more? So I shut the computer off, I shut the TV off, and I just started cleaning, washing up the dishes, sweeping my floor, wiping my floor, putting out, breaking down boxes, putting them up. And just having a good time doing things, getting outside on the back porch, sweeping it off putting things out you know i got some new things for the kitchen floor i got those the floor clean and put those down yesterday the guy came he painted some things for me and i'm feeling good i feel good so people again remember abuse for, for of the overbeast becomes not because people hate us but because it's a lot of weight to manage it's a lot of weight the other day we put some garbage out. My brother had some things, he put it out there. And and the guys on the truck left the bag right there. And when I went down and felt the bag, I said, dang, it was so heavy. You know, so all of those things have been just coming to just show me that when the weight is there, people are not happy to lift it. So there's a fire. No firefighter is going to be crazy to, oh, let me just pick her up like a child and take her out. No way. They look at me, they see all this weight. Who knows what might happen? I'm not judging, but who knows? Because it's going to be a you or me situation. Do I sit here and try to get you out when you can't even, you know, help yourself? Or do I just move on to the next one? So... The inspiration came to me and I just wanted to take a minute to just say, my friends, we have the weight, we're beautiful inside and out, and that's good. But we have to do more. We have to change our diets. We have to start moving. As I said, put, get, make up your playlist. There's, there's so much music on YouTube. Create your playlist. I like the, the reggae kind of, 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 um, revival-y kind of uh, gospel music and I'm singing along and so I'm able to move the arms and move the arms. I have on my playlist Byron Lee and the Dragonairs. It's just um, soca love songs. They're just, it's it's soca. So it's, um, you, you, you're just, you're moving your body to it. You know, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you kick your feet, you lift your feet, you stretch your feet. And one in this week, I'll show you what I've bought to work my legs out to, as I am there, if I'm crocheting or something. And I'll show you also the gazelle that my daughter bought that also helps me so that my knees are not impacting the knees, but I am moving, I am stretching, and I'm moving the arms and the legs. So, a little bit of inspiration from Miss Best Production. And I love with someone, you know, just let us do better because we can. And if we can move any at all, if we're sitting in a wheelchair, move. Just start moving. Kick your feet where you are. Move them how you can. No matter how little. If you start little, it will get bigger. <clears throat> I remember when I was 
it was hard and maybe it was in my mind. But once I started this channel and once I started making the commitment to lose the pounds, I realized that it's doable and you can get up and walk to good distances. You can get up and you can do well. So I love what say. If you can't be good, be careful. But please remember, one pound at a time as you become a stronger, better you.